Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Academy News. I'm Dylan Wodzinski. And I'm Rachel Houston. Yearbooks are on sale until December 18th for $40. Make sure you grab your copy before the prices go up. If you have any questions, see anyone in yearbook or stop by Miss Simone's room. So, Dylan, how's your week been? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of movies. Like which ones? Well, I saw Twilight last week and that was awful. Well, let's go to Ethan who can suggest the better film for you. And now, it's this week's movie review! Say hello to my little friend in this week's movie review. This week, I'm reviewing Savages. Savages is a new Oliver Stone movie that shies away from his usual type of movie. It has you on the edge of your seat literally the entire movie, and that's what's so good about it. It's got great acting, great action, and I give it one thumb up just because, eh, the plot suffers a little bit. Wow, Ethan, you are just the greatest. About that. I don't think any movie can beat Mean Boys, though. I am so, that is not even, Mean Boys, it's Mean Girls. Please. Josh Panos. How do I even begin to explain Josh Panos? Josh Panos is flawless. I heard he filmed car commercials in Japan. One time I saw Josh Panos wearing cargo shorts and vans, so like the next day I went and bought cargo shorts and vans. This one time he punched me in the face. It was awesome. If any of you have ever felt personally victimized by Josh Panos, raise your hand. They cut since hair is so long because it's so full of secrets. So, what'd you think of that movie this weekend? I thought it was totally Gucci. Nick, stop trying to make Gucci happen. It's never going to happen. Hey, have you heard of that new kid? Yeah, Skylar Parnell. Oh yeah, he's from Miami. You know what people say about Skylar Parnell? They say he's a less attractive Wyoming version of me. Steven is so dumb. Okay, so we were in English class and he asked me how to spell his own name. I can stick my whole fist in my mouth. Nick is really starting to wear on me with some of the dumb things he said. He said the phrase Gucci yesterday and I, I thought... I think the main problem is, is his hair. It's too long. Yeah, his hair. What the... what the heck? They rock my socks. You don't think that's a real movie, do you, Rachel? Uh, yeah. In other news, the Polar Plunge is coming up soon. Officer Barnes has all the details for us. Hey guys, this is one of our fundraisers that we're doing for the Polar Plunge this year. And if, in case you don't know, the Polar Plunge does raise money for the Special Olympics. What we're doing is for two weeks in December, we will have these bins out at lunch. And these teachers have volunteered to do it just in case we do raise some money for them. They don't really want to do it. But if we raise at least $50 per teacher, and what you're going to do is you're going to put them in here during lunch, then they have to go into the water because they have said that they'll do it if we raise enough money. So let's get it together and make sure all these teachers have to get called. So her and Miss Condry are sisters? I thought they were twins. Uh, we'll go with that. So are you going to get me a Christmas present this year? Why would I get you a Christmas present? Well, that wasn't nice. I hope you get cold for Christmas. Right. Let's go around the school and see what other kids are getting for Christmas. <laughs> Season's greetings. I'm Nick and I'm here to investigate just what it is people want for Christmas here at AEST. Let's check it out. What do you want for Christmas this year? I want a sugar glider. Hunter, what is it that you want for Christmas this year? I want a uh, fleet of big wheels so me and my friends can ride around like hood rats. 
See, what is it that you want for Christmas this year? I, I would like an orange vest. Like a bright neon one. There you have it. I want Tatiana Calderon for Christmas. <laughs> what I want for Christmas is... Alright, Erica, what do you want for Christmas? I'd like a plane ticket back to Italy. I want an iPad for Christmas. Yeah. What is it that you want for Christmas this year? For my friends and family all to be happy. What I want for Christmas is basically my family. For Christmas, I would like for all of you at AAST to have a great, fun, and safe Christmas break. Well, that was popping. You want to know what else is popping? What? Balloon contest. Are you ready to rumble? In this week's blow off, we have these two blowhards. Name, please. Steve Mills. Dylan Wazinski. All right, y'all ready? Face away from each other. All right. Ready, set, blow! Looks like we have a little head start on Dylan. Steven looks like he's catching up though. This might be pretty close, I'm not really sure. Dylan's very eager to win this. Wants to make ET the balloon blowing champions here. Steven looks like he's coming back. Connect is doing very well in this. All right, we're coming close. We're coming to an end real soon. And we have a winner. Oh, very close competition, but we think E.T. has won this. All right. Thank you. Are you ready to rumble? In this week's blow-off, we have these contestants. Enzo Ferrar. Kittle Davis. All right, you guys ready? Go ahead and face away from each other. Ready. Get a little, hold on, a little bit, a little bit There we go. Ready, set, blow! All right, Kendall starting off with a good head start. Enzo struggling to get the balloon inflated. Looks like this might be a good, good win for DC. All right, the winner of this will go to the semifinal. Enzo struggling. I mean, look. Look. looks like this might be a. Kendall win right here. Denzo doesn't pick up really quick. He's got to blow. He's got to blow like he's never blown before. This will be coming anytime soon. Anytime soon. <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to lean over towards Denzo a little bit. For impact, and there it goes. Kendall has won. All right, let me see your arm. Here you go. Here we go. Kendall Woo! Davis. All right. Again, feeling like a. And now it's time for some Christmas jokes. What did Adam say the day before Christmas? It's Christmas, Eve. What do you call Santa Claus when he doesn't move? Santa Paws. What did the big candle say to the little candle? I'm going out tonight. What is the best thing to put in a Christmas cake? Your teeth. What do monkeys sing at Christmas? Jungle bells. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Snowflakes. What do snowmen wear on their heads? Ice caps. What do you call a man who claps at Christmas? Santa Claus. What do you give a train driver for Christmas? Platform shoes. You're such a jokester, Dylan. With the Christmas season around the corner, now is the time to start getting active. Gaining weight during the holiday season is a national pastime. Year after year, most of us pack on at least a pound during the holidays. Get active, eat breakfast, and police your portions. You guys are probably wondering why we're doing Christmas in November. Well, this is the seniors' last news show until next year. But it's okay, because we will be back. So for the last time this year, this is the seniors signing off. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.